Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Shanice with Slay by Shanice and I'm your go-to girl for all things lifestyle, beauty, and inspiration. And today I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite holy grail best of the best foundations and that is the Lime Life by Alcone Perfect Foundation. Love this stuff so much. So that's kind of why you see me here with a bare face because I know normally my intros start off, you know, a little more glamorous, but today you get me with a bare face. So before I kind of get into my demo, show you guys some tips and tricks on how to use this foundation, um, the like best ways to use this foundation, I do kind of want to just go over some of the specs, show you the packaging and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So on the back of the packaging it says, our foundation developed by RCMA has been a staple in professional makeup artist kits for decades. This highly pigmented formula can be built in layers for a full coverage finish or used sparingly for a more natural look. So as you can see from the little clip I just inserted, the foundation actually comes in a pan form. You see it's a nice little um, water coloring and then the same thing. Same thing on the box too, actually. They both have water coloring on the box. Really, really pretty, really, really sleek, all that good stuff. I also do want to mention that this foundation, let's see, you gonna focus, there we go. This foundation is paraben free, it's Leaping Bunny certified, and it is vegan. So that is a lot of the reasons why I really, really love this foundation as well because of all those benefits. So um, if you don't know, parabens are something, it's specifically in skincare that really, really bothers me a lot. But um, even in makeup, if I can get paraben free makeup, that's the way to go for me. And if you don't know what parabens are, basically parabens are kind of like a hormone disruptor. They can cause certain cancers and things like that. And you know, once they're absorbed into your skin, that's when all the bad stuff could potentially happen to your skin. So anything you're putting on your skin that is paraben free is definitely a lot better for your skin than something you'd be putting on it that actually does have parabens. Okay, so then of course it is Leaping Bunny certified. So this is a cruelty free foundation and then also it is vegan. So for all of my vegan friends out there, this foundation is for you, okay? So the first thing I want to do is show you two different ways to put this foundation on and I'm going to kind of do like a half and half sort of situation so I'll do one, um, one method on this side of the face and the other method on this side of the face just to show you two different ways to put this foundation on and as I'm putting it on I'll kind of explain to you why I like this foundation and why I'm highly recommending it to you. So the first way to use this foundation here in this pan is to use it with a blending sponge and I'm going to be using the Blenderful sponge. This is another Lime Life by Alcone product and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to take the flat side, okay you guys can see that, flat side of the blending sponge, a blenderful sponge, and give it a full, here we go, give it a full twist in the pan, okay, to get the product on there. A full twist honestly would cover my whole entire face, but I'm only going to do it on this half of my face. So, as you can see on this side of the face, I do have some um, acne scarring from when I had breakouts and stuff like that. So as I am, um, as I am putting this foundation on, I'm going to insert a before picture so you can kind of see the coverage and how how it's working on my face. Now, what I like about this foundation, I'm just kind of using this in a pressing motion, by the way. But what I like the most about this foundation is that it's very, very, very lightweight. Which I love because once upon a time I actually, like I did not like foundation at all. I was more of a tinted moisturizer kind of girl. But 
once I found this foundation, I was like, wow, this does not feel like anything on my skin. As you can see, it's like a magic eraser. All those blemishes, everything is gone. Uh, one of my best friends who is a, a pro artist, she actually used this foundation on me years ago before I even knew who RCMA was, all that good stuff, was ever even a part of Lime Life, and it was one of the only foundations that like when I had it on my face, I actually felt good having it on my face. When I would go out for like special occasions and stuff like that and I had foundation on, my face just felt like it could not breathe, like ugh, it felt like it could breathe let me know if you you had that feeling in the comments okay so um when she did when she did my makeup for a photo shoot because i used to do a little bit of modeling back in the day and i was like this stuff is really really good and at the time she told me it was rcma and lo and behold now here at lime life by alcon we have rcma foundation and the cool thing is our formula with rcma actually is paraben free as opposed to the, their formula which is just their um, I forget what actual foundation is called I forget what it's called but their formula which is almost the same the only difference is ours is paraben free and theirs is not so I feel like they just they just gave us the holy grail right there they just gave us the holy grail so as you can see this is applying it with a sponge for me applying it with a sponge gives a nice um more so like a medium coverage um if you want more of a full coverage this is very very buildable but um if you want more of a full coverage i recommend actually using a brush so now i'm going to show you on this side where i have more like deeper scarring and have a little bit more texture on this side of my face i'm going to show you how to apply it with so here I have a little, this is actually like a little powder brush, and I love using a powder brush with this foundation. I feel like it just gives me a nice, flawless finish, so I'm actually just going to go ahead, go into the pan, take the brush, and just kind of give it a nice little swirly swirl, get some product on there. And the other thing I like about this foundation, and now I'm just going to kind of stipple on, stipple Stipple in on this way. So the other thing I like about this foundation is that a very little bit goes a really, really long way. Like super duper long way. You always want to make sure to get it down your neck as well. Did you guys see that? So now I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture right here showing you the before. And now you see the after. And how quick and easy is this? This stuff is awesome. <laughs> There is the sponge side, the wonderful sponge. And this sponge does come with this little case. It has a nice little mesh backing to let your sponge breathe and all that good stuff. So this is the sponge side. And then this is the side with a brush. Super, super nice, super, super buildable. So now I'm just gonna show you, this is just one layer, quick, easy. Now I'm gonna show you how to build it up. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my sponge once again, and try to try to do this the best I can in this video. Give it a nice twist. And then this is gonna be a little bit more, more full coverage. Kind of just pressing and pushing it along. And as you can see, now the coverage is a lot fuller, but it still feels super, super lightweight on my skin. And for those of you wondering, I am wearing the shade Shinto 3 if your skin tone is close to mine. Okay, so this is two layers of the perfect foundation with a sponge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with a brush. 
as you can see I like have no product on the brush again <laughs> so that little twirly twirl and swirly twirl got that whole side of my face go ahead and do that again and this is like if you want a super 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 beat face but you don't want that cakey feeling sure if you can actually see on camera what I'm seeing in person but this side is a lot more full coverage and this side is a little Bad. more Ugh. still a little more medium to full the first layer was more medium and this is more like medium to full so hopefully you guys are seeing what I am seeing on the camera <laughs> but my thoughts on this foundation right here honestly you guys like I said holy 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 grail it's super lightweight it's paraben free it's buildable it's actually good for all skin types i've i've used this on dry skin i've used this on oily skin i've used this on combination skin i'm actually more of a combination skin kind of girl um but this foundation works well with all skin types it's even been said because it um it has a lot of botanicals in it that it's actually kind of helped people to heal their acne now i'm not going to make that claim and say oh if you use this foundation you're not going to have any acne but a lot of people have said that using this foundation didn't um didn't make their acne worse i will say that it did not make their acne worse so I mean, I'm just saying, like this, you can't, you kind of need this in your life. Like, you should definitely go ahead and try some perfect foundation. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I've been using it for now almost two years, and I have not, I have not touched one other foundation, even with all the other foundations that have come. And I've looked, and I'm like, oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. That looks nice. But when you find something that works, you stick with it. You know what I'm saying? So. This is my holy grail, perfect foundation. Perfect name, because it is called Perfect Foundation. So if you are interested in checking out this foundation, feel free to reach out to me, either in the comments below, or you can reach out to me on any of my other social media uh, channels, networks, whatever you wanna call them. I'll leave them down in the description box below, and they're gonna be right up in here, so you can see. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Snapchat, so feel free to reach out to me on any of those platforms. And if you've made it this far, if you've made it this far in the video, you might as well become a part of the family, become a part of the Slay Sorority, and go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. Just go ahead. It's, it's, it's down there. It's a little red button. Just go ahead and hit it, okay? Because trust me. You'll be wanting, you'll, you'll want to come back. You'll want to come back. And if you do want to come back, make sure you hit that notification bell too so that you do not miss when I upload another video. So that's pretty much right. it, you guys. If you did like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. That'll help this video get seen all across the YouTube world because I mean, every, they need to see, they need to see this foundation goodness. You know, y'all know. Y'all know you want everybody to see this. Like, it's did y'all see the before and after? No? Okay. <laughs> but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.